Hi, Ken from Tanning Bit Prepare Guide. The difference between American and European voltage. So many of these tanning bits are out of Europe. So we always tend to think, why are they 230? I mean, why that, that's so difficult? So we all basically always need boosters. Well, in Europe it's standardized. And may actually in the most of the world it's standardized to 230 volts and uh, 50 hertz actually. So in Europe you have 230 volts AC 50 cycles per second. 50 hertz. And um, you have that on one lead. So phase that is the hot leg phase to neutral is what that is. So one leg is 230 and you have that to, to your neutral wire. So on chanting beds in Europe you have the neutral wire in there. In America we do something different. You, we do something different here. Yeah. So we do have to get up to 230 because the tanning beds are coming from, typically from, uh, or in many cases comes from Europe. So we have 120 volt AC, 60 hertz, and so that is our phase to neutral uh, power. And that's not enough. So we have to bring in another leg to get up there. Yeah, same thing. And so, so instead of a neutral wire, we have two phases, L1 and L2, that we create uh, either 208 or 240 width, depending on what kind of service it is on the back side of it. If it's an original three-phase service that's born three-phase, you'll have 208. If it's born as a single-phase service from the street, you'll have 240. That's why that in a residential area, it would typically be L1 and L2 will create 240. And in a commercial building where you have three phases, you'll have 208 between the two. And so that's how you'll end up needing to either book or boost, uh, depending on what kind of service you have in America. And um, so the, the, the last thing I want to say about this is the 50 versus 60 hertz. If you have a uh, something that has to do with timing and it doesn't have what's called a crystal inside, that's not crystal meth. I mean, it's, it's, there's actual crystals that is sitting in there when once they get um, amplified, they, they sit in there and, and can perfectly give some kind of uh, impulse um, and um, when they were relying on that or uh, the Frankfurt uh, uh, system or a satellite or whatever, you, you, can, you can get some kind of source that is independent of, of this service. You, you can count on your timing system, but a lot of uh, a circuitry is actually using this uh, 50 or 60 cycle uh, um, uh, signal to generate the, uh, the, the, the pulse, the, the clock pulse of the system. And so then you will have a, a problem that your, your, all your timing devices of, of your timing system will be completely out of whack. Unless they're running through DC, uh, then that gets uh, removed and you know that it's some kind of uh, crystal that's generating it like your TMAX system, if you took that and brought it to Europe, you wouldn't have a problem 
um, with everything that plugs into DC. But if you take your 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 timing device uh, from inside the bed, you you might have it. I'm not sure, a hundred percent sure on that, but I would take that you will have and have a problem there because it might not have a crystal. So that is something to be aware of. Uh, the 50, 60 hertz cycle, you need to look into that and see if you're in good shape or not. Voltage wise, you that also makes that since in Europe, the beds from over there are wired with each phase to neutral the neutral wire is that the entire piece of equipment will be wired slightly different and need to be rewired if at all possible. It might be so inherent to configure it to either of these market places that it will be just too much to figure out. So that's why that um, that that's something to be highly aware of, and that's also why that we we have this rather difficult power to deal with for the American market. Plus, the whole lamp industry of uh, tanning lamps originated out of Germany, so everything is just geared towards towards this two hundred and thirty volts, and now we have conformed to it. So that's that's how that is now. Um, yeah, Ken from Tanning Bed Repair Guide. Take care, guys. Bye.